Android Privacy Sandbox, let's talk about this new mumbo jumbo from Google. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And a few days back, Google published a new blog post called Introducing the Privacy Sandbox on Android. Now, I am going to start backwards. We are going to jump to the end of the blog post and read it from here. We are also committed to working closely with regulators. Now, this here is the most important line in this blog. Why? Because all of this which Google is promising it is going to do two years from now, which is introducing new methods of tracking, new advertising, maybe some more privacy called Privacy Sandbox on Android is happening because the politicians want to split up big tech and there are a bunch of antitrust lawsuits lining up against Google. That, in my opinion, is the reason for this blog post. Now, another super important thing which you need to keep in your mind, keep in your mind while you are watching this video is that Google is primarily an advertising company. They make their money from advertising. So that being said, we can now jump back to the top of the article and try to go through the article to see what they are trying to say. So what Google is claiming over here is that they are going to come up with a multi-year initiative to build a privacy sandbox on Android. The goal of which is to introduce new and more private advertising solutions. Now these solutions will limit sharing of user data with third parties and operate without cross app identifiers including advertising ID and they are also exploring technologies that reduce the potential for covert data collection including safer ways for apps to integrate with advertising SDKs. Now when they talk about covert technologies or covert data collection I guess they are pointing towards Pegasus. Now, super important thing to note over here, Apple is suing NSO Group, which is the creator of Pegasus, so that iPhones are secure from Pegasus. There is, there is a version of Pegasus for Android, but Google has not done anything like that. They really don't care. So these covert operations, which they are talking about, covert data collection is just a fancy term to scare the normal user that you might have covert data collection on your device. I mean, Google, what the hell are you doing right now, right? And next up, they tell us that blunt approaches are proving ineffective and they link an article. Now, these blunt approaches, what they are talking about, they are talking about Apple over here with iOS 14. Apple introduced a new feature wherein you can opt out of tracking. When you open the application, it asks you, do you want to share your data? You say no. Proof of this, proof of this is Facebook. Facebook has openly claimed that they have or they might lose 10 million or 10 billion dollars because of this change from Apple. So that there is Facebook, right? Facebook got affected by this, but Google is saying that these blunt approaches are proving ineffective. So, so I'm not sure what Google means when they say that these blunt approaches are proving ineffective because from where I see if Facebook is losing money and they are not able to create a perfect profile of you, that to me is effective, but Google has their own point of view their own opinion and everybody is entitled to their own opinion which brings us to facebook's opinion so facebook has openly said that google is benefiting from apple's change that is what facebook has said why because google has their search engine which is the default on iphones they have their gmail they have their photos they have a bunch of other applications on an iPhone 
or which can collect your data facebook does not have all of those applications they do not have much leverage in that regard which is why the ios 14 feature of disabling tracking cost facebook 10 billion dollars so i am not sure what google means that the blunt approaches are proving ineffective because as i said earlier in my humble opinion they are proving super effective and then you have something called working with the industry and what Google is trying to say here is that you have quotes from Rovio, the creator of Angry Birds, then you have Snap, which is your Snapchat, then you also have Duolingo. So all of these companies are saying, yes, we will work with Google to create a new system. What I read, what I comprehend this as is, they are just saying, hey, hold on hold on to your horses you folks are complaining a lot about us tracking you give us two years because the blog post also says that the current methods will work for two years and then they are going to maybe phase it out they're going to test the new approach so they might as well come up with a way of collecting the same amount of data which they already do with another approach and again they are ready to work with regulators as i mentioned at the beginning of the video in my humble opinion this is nothing but a blog post for the politicians to prove that google is trying to change something the end result for you as an end user in terms of your data being collected in terms of you being tracked in terms of your digital profile being created might as well be zero and the worst part is this is a two-year plan and this is coming from a company called google which is known for killing apps every few months they have their own graveyard of applications which they have killed so who knows how successful this privacy sandbox for android is going to be do let me know your opinion via comments on this video